Your gazebo has arrived, so how do we assemble it? This is the finished product, this is what we're aiming for. There are instructions, but it's really a pretty straightforward process. So let's start with our frame. The only trick here is to recognise that these are the feet and that these need to be on the ground. From there, it's just a matter of gradually opening up the frame, just walking around, gradually opening it up around the pivots until it reaches its finished size, which for this unit is three metres by three metres. So having achieved that, the main trick, if, particularly if you're working on your own, is to remove this centre pole. Uh, it just slides straight out the top and it's going to make it a lot easier to get the roof in place. So take that out and we just put that to one side. Once you've done that, you can raise the roof to the top of three of the four legs. So you just slide it up the leg and it will click in place with this grey fastener. So once you've got three of those in place, you can put the roof on, just roughly like this, and then at this point you can put that centre pole back in and then just pull the corners down over the poles. So all, all four corners get pulled down over the poles. And once they're in place, you can then lift the roof up to the top of that fourth pole and it will click in place and that will tighten everything up but it will make it a lot easier if you do it in that order. So this is what it looks like from the inside if things have gone well. In the middle of each side there's a little protective apron there, just make sure that's in place and there's also a strap there that you can use to tighten it down if there's a lot of wind. Uh, now we just need to extend the legs so I've just extended these legs to their shortest height on two sides, two legs, and then the same on the other side. And then you can uh, move it into its finished height. There's actually three height options. We find that the middle height is the, is the best option. Uh, there's a tab on each corner for a guy rope and there's also um, holes in the base plates for tent pegs. So there's our finished product so it really once you've done it once or twice it's quite an easy process so that's all very well we then need to put it away so it's literally just a matter of reversing the process to get it in the bag the only trick which is probably pretty obvious is don't try to feed the feet into the bag put the top of the frame into the bag first and then the feet actually sit on the base plate of the bag which makes it a lot easier to move around. So that just leaves this monstrosity to deal with. We find that if you treat it like a parachute, if one person holds the middle of the roof and the other person folds up the bottom of the roof uh, and then you make it into roughly a triangle, fold it in half, fold it into thirds and it'll fit easily into the, uh, the pouch on the, on the trolley. And that's it, um, all ready to go for the next event. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, if you do run into any issues, please just get in touch. We're at www.thesignmaker.co.nz. Bye for now.